Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So this is going to probably be the only chisel plowing video that you'll see this spring because we got most of our chisel plowing done last fall. Uh, even the strip behind me was chisel plowed. However, if you guys saw my video on cleaning out the barnyard, uh, I hauled manure out onto these two strips out here. I wanted to get the manure hauled out basically as early as I could. So I uh, hauled out here on the chiseled strips but unfortunately that means that, well, for how heavy I put the manure down, I want to chisel it again. And um, we also had hauled some manure onto this lower bean strip as well. Uh, I wasn't planning on chiseling that, but we had hauled manure on the back half of it. So we're just going to chisel this up at the same time. It's not that big of a deal as far as knowing what's what, because in the planner on the Ag Leader monitor, we know where the strips are at. so. Um, we'll be able to follow those lines regardless of whether or not, you know, one strip is chiseled and the other isn't. A comment that I get frequently asked is why we farm in contours in strips. And uh, the main reason is because it was originally made for erosion. Um, when you farm uh, perpendicular to the flow of water, each tire track, every, you know, corn plant, every soybean plant, every row, every depression that you make, going perpendicular to the flow of water will help slow down any water flow that's trying to go out of the field. So uh, it'll help, you know, it'll, it'll help slow down the water and it'll help with your erosion. Um, the waterways also help with that to an extent. And I think that farming in, on contours really does help. And the reason that we farm two different crops is because they are alternated. Um, there were smaller strips back in the day and contours were popular back in the 80s but they're kind of going out of style people are starting to plant on the contour just not in strips and um, you know we've been kind of doing a little bit of that here and there as well um, but uh, on our farms it is nice to have strips where we have our hay still um, a lot of the way that our strips and our, our fields are, are still because of the way they were back when we were dairy farming um, the strip that we're on right now got seeded down two years before we quit milking and it just got chiseled up last fall and we're about to chisel it again so um, what we did 10 years ago still has an effect on how we're farming today and I don't really see us going all to one crop on every field uh, a lot of people do it because it makes the sprayers more efficient um, they don't have to worry about reaching over into the other crops um, and reasons like that so we did that on one of the farms uh, all of our rented places, most of our rented places are all one crop, um, but on the home farm still, we still do the contours. Will we go all to one crop one day? You know, maybe, but we'll still be farming on the contour. It's a real windy day today, so I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to be brave enough to send up our eye in the sky, but since this is going to be the only day where we're doing any kind of chiseling, I figured I might as well film it. I was going to clean off the tractor for this video, but it's 30 degrees out and it's starting to snow. So uh, I figured, you know, let's just go ahead and get this done. So we're going to go ahead and start chisel plowing. We've got three strips out at my place to do and then we're going to be done. The 82 is going to go back on the VT and we're looking at starting planting beans first any day now. Let's get started. All right, buddy, let's go. We'll start out down on this bean strip, work from the outside in. Make sure it's in four wheel drive. I literally just saw this branch fall to the ground as I was coming down here. I came along last fall with the brush mower and mowed between the fence line and the field ground. And you can see that we gained some real estate in here. Chisel plowing these strips with the manure on them is gonna help incorporate that manure into the ground. It's gonna assist in the breakdown of that manure. And uh, I wasn't really planning on hitting these bean strips with the chisel plow and I really didn't even want to spread the uh, manure on them, but I was really getting desperate. There was a lot of loads that I took out of the barnyard and I didn't get done until 2 a.m. that night 
and this was kind of a last ditch thing it's like well those strips are pretty well full up above so since this one already had some manure on it on the back half I figured I'd you know do the front half just on the other side of the fence here is an area where I would love to get in with the JCB but there's no good way to get in there so I've been thinking maybe I should come in here someday cut open the fence drive through it and mow what I want to mow because there's a lot of brush in there that I could clean up really really fast and I'd stop the growth of some of those trees that are coming up turn it back to grass next year I'm gonna try to decide where I'm gonna be hauling the manure out to in the spring and not chisel that under until I get the manure spread on it which hopefully I can do again in the spring now feeding bales that are wrapped with net wrap you'll never guarantee that you'll get hundred percent in the net wrap but I promise you the chisel plow will it's a lot of net wrap to be missed I try as hard as I can to make sure that none of this stuff gets left behind because I don't like it being in with the cows <laughs> Taking this back to the farm now. The 82 is gonna get unhooked from the chisel plow. It's gonna go on the VT because that's gonna be the next thing, but that'll be in another video. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. All How Farms Work, I'll see you next time.